Scar build here. <laughs> what in tarnation is this? Apparently, the other Boda members really want me to join the Gigabase. Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Herbertson Crafting. And you know, those sneaky Bodum kids broke my window. <laughs> Throwing their balls around here, but look at that incredible view of Pearl's magnificent mountains and even some trees in the background are starting to pop up. And you can even get a glimpse of Cubs base and biome starting materialize, which is absolutely awesome. And it's so cool to jump on and see how incredible the Bodum area is turning out from Impulse's mega super base to Mumbo's amazing waterfall to Grian's train and of course his awesome city that's taken taking place in the mountain. But in our last episode, of course, we completed our Bodum starter base by finishing our factory. Now, bad news, Scar's Redstone is not coming together. As you can see, it's as empty as it ever was. <laughs> I've been trying to work out some designs for smelters and cactus farms, and well, they're struggling a little bit. I'm still planning on doing it. Who put these signs in here? Ain't nothing here, boss. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally rubbing it in whoever put this in there. I know there's nothing. The redstone's not working. This ain't it. Uh, obviously, my redstone is poor, but people are mocking me now. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, but I have been really excited to show you this for the people who weren't able to tune into the live streams. We've been working out the landscaping around the wagons. We've got these giant tire treads where it's kind of torn up and flattened the dirt. We've got some mud on this side, lots of beautiful foliage, and I have some really, really cool ideas for what I want to do to continue the theme of kind of these tractors going through the forest here. I want to have some flattened trees along with our tipped over trees over here. So we got a tree that's tipped over there and one on that side. And of course, the honey pot here is dripping out. And on the back end where the Emerald Hotel is, we'll continue the theme back here. And of course, we're still working on getting those villagers in their different compartments as the villager roller coaster continues to be very troublesome. But in today's episode, we're taking the swagon to the next level. We're going to build a mega garage and headquarters for the swagon. And I think right in this area will be the most perfect of spots. And we will retire this uh, <laughs> kind of starter parking area for the swagon. And I've got some pretty darn cool ideas for you once we get to that part of the episode. Now, we're going to pop really quick into Berserk to see if we've got some diamonds because Etho brought himself by to check and he wanted honey blocks. I'm trying to remember which section had honey blocks and oh, there's two diamonds. Very, very nice. And oh, one diamond there. We got three diamonds and Hello, Aqua. You are looking mighty beautiful. Look at that, 64 diamonds. Wow, my math is subpar. That is 34, Scar. <laughs> there we go, there's 40. Come on, can we get up to 64 to make me feel better? No, we won't. <laughs> But 47 diamonds is actually not too bad. Now we just need some, uh, some waxing customers again. More signs. Fell into a random hole here. Well, you gotta watch where you're going. Um, I was gonna check in with the swag in here. I, I don't know where all these tunnels go, but I know the swag is behind this wall. <laughs> Hello, swagon? Where did you go? <laughs> Where'd the swagon go? And I mean, I've gotta say, my friends, I've gotta say this copper is in need of some serious waxing here. This. This is truly, truly unacceptable. The built-up of guck on this wall is just tremendous and I can't stand for it. What in the, wh what in the world? <laughs> Laman, Laman, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you from this fire. Laman, careful, careful, there's fire. <laughs> What in the world? If this is the work of the big eyes, oh, seriously, this, this, this will require immediate retaliation. Let's see. Maybe if there was an ender chest, I wouldn't have to burn it. Okay, that might be Cub, actually. I don't know if this is the big eyes or if this is Cub. Cub is a very strong opinion on ender chests and shops. I may have forgotten the ender chest. I usually pop it like in the back section, but, but yeah. Oh man, this is super bad. And they unintentionally waxed me. 
bit of my own medicine right there, I suppose. And nobody bought anything. Except light blue wool, for whatever reason, has been inserted into my chest. Okay, somebody actually did buy things. Okay, all right, I feel, I feel a little bit better. I'm okay with everything burning as long as I've made diamonds. I'm okay with this. Look at these little beautiful pieces of aqua, which are going to become quite handy today when we do a bit of a shopping spree to get all the resources together for our <laughs> giant build, which is the Swaggin' Garage. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you a little clip here of the most recent Boda meeting that I'm going to come up into a super cool little highlight of all the best moments oh there are more signs this man has a family return to his natural habitat <laughs> are you serious where do creepers actually come from it is an age-old question in minecraft do they have families happy birthday to the to the ground who is placing these signs Hello? Oh. Right, don't touch don't touch don't, don't touch, don't, don't touch anything <laughs> don't touch why everyone freeze freeze uh-huh. Freezing? Don't, don't Freezing. say anything. <laughs> we're gonna have another meeting, and this time, we're gonna get some decisions made. Scar, stop getting, stop getting closer. So, if someone during the meeting suggests a bad idea, feel free to throw the bad idea at the bad idea, end crystal, and end that idea where it stands. <laughs> Assign some roles for everyone. Okay. I think in order to not get blown up, I think we should all suggest our own roles. All right, let's start with Scar. Scar, what do you want to be in charge of with Botum, Botum Incorporated? Um, I, I, I'm, wor wor uh, I'm worried about the, the, the bouncy thing. Um, just, there's no bad ideas. I can there's sell no bad ideas. I, I'm good at selling. I've got that top hat and everything. See? See the top hat? Oh. Dun, 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 Mr. Ah, uh, now he's got his brain head on. He's got all the ideas. I, I can roll head. wagons and logistics and stuff like that. You know? Help yeah, out. Yeah, well, that's, that's a... That's a good idea. Salesman. You know how store layouts sometimes change in real life? No customers have. To oh. <laughs> Next. I didn't even get Next. to finish my idea. What if? What if Mum? We make Mumbo CEO of Botum Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get this straight. You're making the Potato Man, Mr. Potato, the CEO. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a three times this meeting. I have an idea for your promotions of the of the corporation. Go on. All right, so I have this idea, right? We rename our swords and our weapons, right? We go kill hermits when it says shop at Bodum. But see, it goes into the chat and it's- oh, I just- That's actually a pretty good idea. It's not even a bad idea. It was a, <laughs> um, oh, there you, there you are, hat. So, so, so dude, power. it's amazing. So we kill the person and then other people see in the chat, shop at Bodum, and they're like, you know what? I can need to get my stuff back. And they go and shop at Bodum. <laughs> Boom, hats on. You know this could only come from a man with a hat of this size. I have made Tango a rich man, but hopefully you enjoyed the super cut of the Boda meeting. Those always go off with a bang. Ooh, I didn't realize that B-dubs has... Okay, we have fallen. Hi, hello. He has copper. Congratulations, you have won a lifetime of free dot 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 dot. Waxing from Scar's Surprise Waxing. It's a surprise every time. Mess with the swaggin? Ha <laughs> we get you back. There we are, just putting a little bit of after wax on here to keep it all nice and smooth. Oh, that was quite relaxing. Now those big guys know not to mess with the hat. Do you ever think that hermits are trying to speak to you? Do you ever hear voices in your head or giant billboards in the sky telling you what to do this is absolutely hilarious this is what greeted me when i logged on today and clearly green wants me to build my mega base on top of the gigabase here and uh yeah i mean i do want to build a floating cloud in the sky as we mentioned before and on stream i drew some pictures the other day of maybe like a mountain with a cloud going through it and i it, it all could be a potential thing and i've had so much indecision that i think the hermits have finally been fed up and they resulted to uh <laughs> drawing in the sky and pearl has also entered the chat and she has written oh hi scar hate buddy pal wait why hate what? Wait. Oh, mate, not hate. <laughs> There's extra block there. That's the big difference right there. 
<laughs> Place your swag here. Oh, okay. Let me read this properly. Oh, hi, Scar, mate, buddy, pal. Place your swag here. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, apparently they either want me to build here or there or wherever. <laughs> this is, uh, this, this actually made my day. Aren't... The hermits are the best. I'm tearing up while I figure out if that is the optimal place, which I mean, I have been overly invited to that spot. So I assume that's probably where I'll build. But let's start tearing out all these trees, flatten the land and preparing for the swagging garage. Smoothed out and flattened down so we can then take our imagination and paint it upon this green canvas below. Now, I get it. This looks really bad and it looks very unnaturally flat. But don't worry. This area will soon be absolutely beautiful. We'll add shapes and contours and lots and lots of trees along with our major big building we're going to build. So this will all come together. Now, while I was flattening this area out and shearing the trees, I came up with the backstory of this building. So I think you guys are going to absolutely love the backstory. Once we wrap up the time lapse in the build, I will fill you in with all the details. So with that, let's hit super fast build mode and well, build us an old abandoned launch now converted to the swag and garage. Wait, I just spoiled the backstory. Oh, well now you know. Anyway, just hit the time lapse. super fast build mode and we have got the swag and garage now complete looking absolutely amazing as i spoiled there the uh theme of this build is of course an abandoned lodge in the wilderness taken over by the swagon to save a couple bucks and converting it into the headquarters and the official garage of the swagons. I am super proud of this build and there's nothing more fun but coming up with a backstory, especially to something old that's now converted to something new. So Tycoon took over this building, plastered its name and its hat all over it, fixed the holes in the roof. As you can see, there is some spruce wood with some trapdoors and signs. And that is basically little holes in the roof that got patched up. You can see the moss kind of growing in there because there used to be a forest here. We're going to replant it and all the beautiful uh, dripstone or not dripstone, dripstone? No, blackstone, all blackstone there. But one of the things that was converted from the old one here is this kind of airplane like hanger that's kind of sticking out of the side with the smokestack and the S on there. In the front, you can see where it's kind of cut out where there's now kind of garage doors opening and closing where there originally wasn't before. And that's just kind of something I find fun in Minecraft, especially with the Moopop Cafe was to or Moopop Factory that is 
business was to kind of convert something old into something new, create that backstory with it. As for the interior here, this is going to be where we're going to have conveyor belts of swagons coming out, a place for people to buy some of our bulk items and sign up for a swagon to arrive at their base and a whole bunch of other fun things that I have planned in there. But uh, <laughs> that with a really fun build. So now we need to remove the parking lot, add a road to the Swagon Garage, and I've got a question for you. Now that we need to replant the forest that was once here, and we're of course going to replant them with these beautiful scar spruce trees, but how many of these trees here do you think that I could build in two hours on a live stream? Put a number down in the comments and we'll see if we can hit it on our next stream. We got to add like a counter to the stream too. So every time we make one, we can have like a little chime go off and the number goes up. So yeah, we got a whole, whole, whole lot of trees to replant. No way. Impulse has entered the uh, Scar Build Here contest. And look at his sign here. This is a very tempting spot. Lots of uh, opening, you know, space around here. Now, I did notice um, did notice that uh, Mumbo hasn't invited me. We're going to have to pay him a visit in a moment. But uh, yeah, Impulse... <laughs> Very nice of you. This is a really good spot. So we now have Grian, we have Pearl, and Impulse both um, inviting us to build. Now this right here would be a good spot, right? Beautiful building and potentially free chocolate. Don't worry about me. Just hanging out here in Mumbo's base. He has built the most insane doorway over there, but he's in this box and I want to get his attention. So what better way than to uh, shoot him in the butt? <laughs> He's been breaking these blocks and I'm seeing if maybe I could get him when he breaks one. <gasps> see, see, we got him. Wait, wait, um, quick, quick, shoot. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Mumbo. Oh, look at, oh, dude, he's wearing his Batman suit. <laughs> he looks like a little kid. He looks like a little kid playing superheroes. <laughs> Oh, I love Mumbo. He's just the best thing ever. What is he making? Like a little school? Look at that. There's like a whiteboard back there and some chairs and a desk and an apple tree. Speaking of schools, I have been telling Mumbo to make a redstone school since season four. What does a piston do? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh man, that skin it might be my favorite of all time. That is tough to describe. This is the worst school ever. And I'm going to take my lack of knowledge elsewhere. Plus, I didn't get an invite to build my base on top of your base, Mumbo. In the comments, please let me know where I should build. Here on top of Korean's base, here on top of Pearl's base, or on top of the most amazing factory ever here at Impulse's base. So in the comments, vote now now that the swag and garage is done it is time to save, save i'm so dizzy <laughs> save <laughs> llama llama dog or whatever it is <laughs> oh man i'm so discombobulated <laughs> what were we doing again okay that's right we were gonna save llama where where is he there you are llama i'm here i didn't just take those diamonds earlier and run no i'm here to save you and well <laughs> pack up this disaster Poor little fella stuck behind these bushes. And you know, as I was staring at him behind the bush, I realized you look like a candy. You might not think it is, but it looks like a now and later. There's the purple ones. They come in like green, red, things like that. But there is a purple one and it looks just like it. It's a really thick, chewy candy. And if you chew on it as a kid and you're losing your teeth, well, <laughs> it pulls it right out. Swagging all packed up and boy, do I have... Oh, llama easy. We're leaving. We're leaving. But as I said, I've got the most perfect place to move it. And that is right here in the Big Eyes Harbor. I can't think of a better place to put it, right? Next is big, beautiful mountain, all these fun Lego blocks. You know how much I love Legos. Perfect spot. We're going to build our... Ow, oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. I thought this would be extinguished on the water. Oh, this was an oversight. <laughs> We need a bucket. This is going to kill me. No, no, no. If I would have got killed by a campfire, I think that would have been it. This would be an awkward sight if the uh, <laughs> the big guy showed up while this was ablaze. So I got some buckets here. <laughs> this is probably the smart way of distinguishing this. That's, that's not the correct word, Scar. 
congratulations. We could not have put this in a <laughs> better place. Look at it out in the harbor there, floating with its ginormous sails sign there. We've got Laman pulling the raft. I don't know how a donkey pulls a raft, but you know what? <laughs> It's sure definitely oh another happy customer for sure. Uh yeah, definitely a customer for sure, Tango. Are you somewhere lurking around here? <laughs> but anyway, guys, look at how cute that raft is with the swagon on top of it. And of course, Laman here. And we've got our sail sign here just looking super cool. Now, when you fly into the harbor, it gives it a cool little pop motion. Like, watch this. Watch them render in. Biom! <laughs> you know, speaking of pops and biomes, <gasps> you know what we need for the swagon? Besides drowning, we need fireworks. That's right. We need fireworks for the swagger that go off periodically to get people's attention. That is our next iteration. Something that I realized while I was stocking the shelves here at the swagger is that our prices may be just a little too high on our gravel or sand and our terracotta. Bring those down by five, and I think we're going to have some winners here. In this chest here of our treasures, we're also going to bring down the cost on some of these, like... Tango's Attic, a skeleton horse, and of course, an amazing but lousy island. <laughs> but I can't do any of that until I get some XP. As you can see, that XP bar is uh, about as low as possible. So, Laman, you help me get some sales here. <laughs> Laman, actually, I'm going to probably level with you here. When I log back on the server in the morning... This thing might be at the bottom of the ocean. Well, I've got to say, what a really fun episode. We built the Swagon Garage, which we're going to have a ton of fun in its interior. We have been uh, very aggressively invited to build our bases everywhere. I'm going to start seeing these signs in real life now. <laughs> So in the comments, please let me know where I should build. And uh, we're going to have some fun in the swag in uh, garage soon. So look forward to that. We're on Cub's skeleton horse. So I need to go deliver this because he purchased this in our last episode. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I. Always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.